Dear friends, I hope you're having a good day. Today, June 11th, Thursday, we're in the evening again. Lots going on, lots going on as people are starting to reintegrate into their regular routines. Still many things are closed. And one of the things that's being discussed a lot is camps, summer camps. And there's a lot of very passionate discussion. Should we allow summer camps to open or not? Schools, it was towards the end of the year, they weren't sure how people uh, would be able to sit in the classroom together, how to figure it all out. But at this point, people and uh, venues are opening. They're even opening up restaurants. People are allowed to gather in bigger numbers. So camp has become a big issue. And it's not only in Montreal, but in many places, there's a very passionate conversation about camp. Uh, do we allow sleepaway camps, day camps? We ourselves run a day camp. Um, there's a lot of uh, feelings and questions by parents. Could we run a day camp properly? And, and there are many issues. And because there's so much unknown, people are staying rather safe than, than uh, venturing out and doing this. But when we talk about camps, why is there so much passion? And I think this is uh, something that really tells us what camp is all about. You would think camp is not the serious part of the year. School, while we're studying and subjects and we are gaining the knowledge and we're getting ready for our future careers and professions and we're being molded to be able to be a good member of society. These are the things that are important. And camp is just, you know, really... We got to babysit the kids and we, we need to work and it's very hard and they need space to run around. So let's put them in a camp. But really, that's not the case. And the Lubavitcher Rebbe had a vision many years ago in a time when camps were not common in the early 50s. And he pushed that they should open up in the Casca Mountains in New York, a summer camp for boys and a summer camp for girls. And they bought grounds, and it became an incredible success. And the success wasn't just that kids had where to run around. The success, what they found was that those months or two months of the summer that the children spent in camp in a wholesome environment, in a very Jewish environment, in a place where you're not taught anything by lesson and in a classroom with the blackboard, but yet you learn so much by living Jewish, by living the values, the most important things of Judaism, by being positive, by being in a place full of love, that the children sometimes in that month or two of camp absorb so much more of their Jewish identity, created much greater Jewish pride than the 10 months of the year that they spent in schools. And for many children, camp was their turning point where they became proud, strong, committed Jewish people. And I hear that from people who have been to all different types of Jewish camps on the spectrum, that camping does something to you. And we have a day camp, which is not even a sleepaway camp, but we've seen how those weeks that children come, the love, the sharing, the absorbing the Jewish ideas in a fun environment where they don't feel like it's the teacher against us, but we are all in it together and through song and play, that the absorbing of Jewish values and ideas is incredible. And actually, many of the organized Jewish community federations, et cetera, started to give money for children to go to camp, first time camp experience, because they recognize the great value of camp. And that's why I think there's a tremendous passion about camps opening, because School, you can go on Zoom, you can have a class, but you can't replicate what goes on in camp, the environment, the atmosphere, the energy. And to a certain extent, while we're home, we're all running our own little camps. We are in one place. We have to go through the day together. We should think, what works in camp that should make us work at home as well? In camp, there's a, a, an incredible environment and energy that's non-pressure. It's not about lesson and subject. It's about living. It's about getting fully involved. It's about getting involved through a sport. When you eat, there's always a spirit of camp going on. 
our home should have that type of a feeling. We should have homes that are nurturing, full of energy, life, joy, song, happiness for our children all the time. Because that's how we impart the real values. That's how we impart the real love for Judaism. So run a home, but run it with the spirit of camp. And I hope many camps will open so the children can get as much as they can. But if not, then many will not give them that spirit at home. Don't turn your home into a classroom. Let it resemble more of a camp, of a fun, exciting spirit where everyone feels part of it. You know, in camp, many children develop a lot of their skills, their talents, their uniqueness. Let's, let that be what our home does as well. So I wish us all to impart what we want to impart, but realize that it doesn't have to be through stringent lessons. It's just by living in, living fully, completely, engaging, exciting, fun, and you'll see how much more you'll get across and how much more successful you'll be. So a great day and a good evening. All the best.